Hey guys, my name is Sanjuraj. Welcome back to my brand new video. In this video, I wanted to teach you guys how to make this basic calculator using HTML and CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. You guys might actually think this contains a lot of JavaScript, but it's actually a little bit of JavaScript. So I think this might be a short video, but I just want to explain you how this calculator works, just like a normal calculator, right? So you just uh, type in random um, values or if you are actually using it you can you know, type in values click on equals it's gonna give you that value and also if you click on, click on C it means clear it's gonna clear out all the values so that's pretty simple and also the UI I just made it so it looks kind of good uh, let's just get started so I'll use exclamation mark I'm using Emmet here uh, Visual Studio Code uh, plugins so if I click on that it's gonna bring me up this boilerplate and I'll say uh, tutorial no, I'll just say calculator and then I want to link my style sheet it's right here I'm on a folder which says tut calculator and inside the body I'm gonna create a form with the class of calculator uh, we don't want it to perform any action because we're not using PHP here so the name also uh, I want to give calculator which oh, which we are going to be using for functions inside the form I'll give an input with a class of value which is going to be the input that the person is going to input obviously and also it's type text we want to give it a name of txt so text we're going to be using this as in the function as well so I want to create a span and inside that span only we have all the stuff mm, what's the value I gave to span is let me check so for the span I actually gave a class of num because obviously it's the number so there's a lot of things like as you guys can see it's a lot uh, so I'll be actually copy pasting it from my previous project file I'll leave this in the description if you guys want it, you guys can download it or it's just an overview of it. If you guys have any idea, you guys can implement that as well. So let me go ahead and copy all of this. As you guys can see, it's a lot of spans. It would take so much time. Let me go and explain it as well. Mm, so I'll copy paste that. So if I were to explain this, now we have a span with a class of num and clear which is uh, the C you know let me open this up in live server which is also a plugin this is how it's gonna be looking like so here we have a span with a class of num which is gonna be the number we are gonna be defining that for everything and clear which is gonna be the C so we give it a particular one because we wanna design uh, CSS it uh, also in built function we want to create an on click uh, attribute on click we want to get the document dot calc which is gonna be this so if we put calc document dot calc dot txt which is this dot value equals nothing so once we click on C so say we have some values once we click on C document dot calc dot text which is the import dot value will be nothing so if you click on that obviously that's exactly what we want the same thing we are going to be implementing to the numbers as well so say we want to input 7 which is right here uh, just like this so if you want to input 7 once we input 7 the value is going to be plus equals 7 so this is yes 6 right so plus equals is like equals to document.calc.text equals uh, dot value equals the same thing plus 7 like that's gonna be hard so this is ES6 which makes it simpler plus equals 7 so it's gonna make the new value 7 here 8 and lastly we have some percentages and after that we have a span which creates an equal now equal is not the same thing we don't yeah there it says the same thing so equals we don't want it to appear on the screen we want the value to appear on screen so the way we do it is we have a class of num and equals because we want to design it here we have an on click attribute which says document.calc.text.value so the value here 
we want to evaluate so evaluate means we just have all the uh, properties uh, what would I would say like the add subtract and all those stuff so we want to evaluate that it's then it's an inbuilt function I think so calculate dot text dot value so if you do uh, uh, 85 minus 6 so it's gonna evaluate that 85 minus 6 and that's the value it's gonna put right there so that's what we are doing with the JavaScript it's really really basic but I'm sure some of you guys might not understand if you guys really did not understand just leave a comment down below I'll actually uh, teach you guys in the comments as well so let me link my style sheet I've done that and I'll uh, start styling it so uh, asterisk it's gonna define everything so let me come for my new one margin zero padding zero this is just like the normal thing that you have to put um, it's not a must but it's good if you do so for the body I'm gonna give a different type of style display flex justify content center and align items center and we want to give a minimum height a minimum height is where we want to like uh, transfer it we we don't want it to get we want it to be there 100 vh and uh, we want to give a background of a hexadecimal hashtag e71953 that's the background so as you guys can see it's like but this is not what we want right so let me get the calcul calculator class which is the main class here let me take that and what I would do um, what would we want we do so we want display grid right so we want to display it as a grid once we do that it's not gonna look that much good but yes we want to make some tweaks also so calculator want to target the input mm. and we want to say grid column span 4 so once we do that it's gonna it's gonna like transfer itself like a column and it's gonna do all the stuff that we actually would take a lot of time to do so I want to give a height of 100 pixels like that and also what would I want to do border 0 um, outline none um, and give some padding um, 30 pixels 0 pixels 30 pixels this is like for the top left bottom and the right that's the way it works and after that I want to target calculator spans right here so uh, one, one minute yeah so here in the calculator right there you should put a position relative it's not gonna change but when we go through it will so right there and also in the calculator span which are these elements all these want to give a padding of around 20 pixels and then give a background and give a hexadecimal of 053fff and there we have a and then we give a margin no a border of one pixels solid RGBA and 000, 000 and 0 0.1 which is gonna be a opacity like it's gonna give a low opacity right as you guys can see it's giving a low opacity if you put it right up it's gonna give a full opacity so we don't want that it looks really ugly so we get it right down there we save it uh, no, that's too much uh, uh, yes now that's fine we want to uh, put a font family you guys can use any font you guys want but I actually prefer using monster ad it's so awesome it's a nice font 
let me increase the font size to about 24 pixels uh, that's too much I think 20 pixels and also uh, put the text align to the right so it, it looks just like a calculator um, so we type something yes that works after that we want to define this as you guys might remember we define this as clear as well we put a class there clear as well by the way the code is right there in the description if you missed it somewhere you guys can download it anytime you want so write down calculator span and we want to target the clear span which is this and we want a great column of span 3 which is going to expand it right like so much and then okay so it's like this we don't want that to happen so i'll just put text align center globally so it's going to align it uh, align it uh, yeah align it and then curse a pointer which is going to give us a pointer when we hover over it also we want something else right so we want uh, when we click it so mm, let me copy that so active active means that when we click on that so when we click on that button we want something to happen so uh, semicolon active we want the background to change a little bit darker so click on that make it a little bit darker the way i did that if you're using visual studio code you might know i hover over the hexadecimal then they give you these values then we can choose from different colors so if i click as you guys can see the colors changing so now it's almost done uh want to do some basic uh designs in the calculator i want to give a border of around five pixels of solid around a blue color i guess zero zero one eight double six that's a little mix increase it to 10 pixels so that's the way it works so if i was actually to test it uh i'll say 50 plus one is 51 so you guys don't need to worry how i actually got this you guys actually might have done this if you did this evaluation part right here we evaluate the calculator dot text dot value we are making it into an integer and then we are evaluating it currently it's a string and then it turns into a evaluation point and it becomes an integer so guys that's it if you guys have any questions just feel free to ask it in the comments don't think other people might judge you or stuff it's totally fine you guys can leave it in the comments down below i'll try to reply it or if you guys want any uh, other advice you guys can text me on instagram i'll leave it right in the description and thank you so much for watching guys this code will right be in the description as well and see you guys in the next video peace